So tonight, hi, it's Cheryl with Caribou Country Lifestyle. Tonight, it's gonna get down to about minus one. So today it's September the 20th. And uh, I noticed this morning there was uh, a light frost on my windshield when I went to work this morning. And so I checked and my phone said that tonight it's going to get to minus one. So it could be minus one, minus two. We're in a higher elevation in this area that we live in, in this region. So I'm gonna be covering up my tomato plants and also my peppers and my squash. And those are the three that I mostly want to protect from the frost because they will get damaged the most from the frost. So I just wanted to show you what I've done. So I've brought out uh, five flannel sheets from out of my linen closet, which is totally fine. But I just want to show you what how, what my tomatoes look like since I like I pruned them really heavily, probably about uh, just over a week ago. And I just want to show you how much they've been ripening ever since I pruned them really heavily. So, I'll... so here I have my natural black cherry, but here is my ox heart and it has started to ripen. I have another one down there and it's starting to ripen as well, which is exactly what I wanted. Over here, this one that's ripening there, that's my um, Aunt Ruby's German Green. So this is one that I've never grown before and even these ones are starting to blush and turn color. So I'm just giving them the most amount of time to vine ripen. And then over here, I have my sheets all put on here. The new girls are starting to blush a little bit, but not a lot. When I looked at the 10 day forecast and today is the only day that it's supposed to get to minus one the rest of the week it's showing um, three degrees at night and up to as much as eight degrees at night so this is the only really um, frosty night that I'm really worried about and I will be paying attention we're almost at the end of September so I just wanted to protect my tomato plants and give them more time to vine ripen these tomatoes on these vines so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Are you trying to beat me up? That was not what I was trying to do. Oh my that god. That was like a one in a million shot though. Yeah, you're lucky my camera's on. Was it? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, my husband's trying to beat me up with the dog frisbee. That's gonna help you. Oh yeah, that's helpful. Hitting me with the frisbees, the dog's toy frisbee. That's helpful. Okay, so I'm getting my sheet out here. over the top. Oh, I gotta pull it over this way a little bit more. That's not enough. I want it to be able to reach 
right to the other end with it. I'm going to pull it over some more. And then I'll pull this side down. Oh, it's caught on this corner. There we go. So then I need to bring it down on this side because I want to cover these pepper plants as well. So I've got quite a bit of an overhang on this side, so I'm going to get back up here and I'm going to bring this up a bit more so I have more of an overhang on the other side as opposed to this side. Okay, that's my sandal. Okay, and then I'll pull this back over on this side. Oh, that's better. And I just want to pull it so it's covering most of these little tender little tomatoes. So, I've got the plant pretty much covered, mostly more so on the other side, because I also want, I have two pepper plants over on the other side. So I need to be covering those up as well. And I'll just bring it in a little closer. So there, got my tomatoes covered with the sheet on the panel. That actually worked out pretty good. And then I've covered my peppers and they'll be protected from the frost. How's this side? Oh, we might have to pull this over. You know what I might do is I might get like a clothespin. I have some clips. I'm gonna clip this end here. So. I'm going to get a clip. And then I'll do the same for the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip this to my um, panel here. There. Cover those tomatoes up. See in there, tomatoes. I'm trying to do this without breaking them off. I already had that problem over there with my other tomatoes. And I'm just going to go over to the other side and clip the other side too. Actually, I'm not going to clip that other side because then it's uh, the blankets being taken away from this other side. And so I'm just going to have the sheet over here just for tonight. And then tomorrow morning when I come out here, I'm going to take the sheet down and then they'll, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. I mean, it's supposed to be a high of 8 Celsius, a 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's still at a pretty good temperature. So I'm gonna cover these other ones up. Okay, so I'm finished setting this up. Under this sheet, I have my yellow pear tomatoes, my old German tomatoes, and I also have my cayenne pepper. I have my Tabasco pepper. And then if I pan over here, underneath, this sheet are my jalapeno peppers in the front and these are my brandywine tomatoes underneath 
and my uh, Aunt Ruby Golden, or sorry, my Aunt Ruby Old German Green. And then under this one, I have a cherry tomato on the right, and then I have my Amish paste tomatoes, and underneath I have my Peter Pan squash, and it's still producing a lot of squashes as well. Um, I forgot I need in one more blanket for my pumpkin. So I'm going to have to get a blanket for my pumpkin as well. Here are my natural black cherry tomatoes and my ox heart tomatoes. And then I have a couple of peppers underneath. I ended up putting a tarp on this side because I have so many tomatoes that are open on both sides. And this one is my chocolate sprinkles, cherry tomatoes, along with my new girl tomatoes. And then I have a couple of peppers in the front over on here. So I still need to grab one more blanket, but actually when I look over there, I see a tarp. And I think I'm going to just put that tarp over my pumpkin and cover that up. So I'm going to do that next. So I just want to bring you along to show you what I have to do to protect my plants from the frost. Like I say, it's going to be nice. This is the first actual frost night that we have are having and it's minus one. So I'm not taking any chances with my plants. I just want to be able to protect them. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, put a like in there. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to subscribe too. So thanks for joining me and we'll talk again next time. Bye for now.